Welcome back, everybody, to the Detroit Lions franchise. We're back here, about to head into week number nine. And after our first loss on the season, the Buffalo Bills took us down. We were rolling, looking pretty good at 6-0, but sometimes it's it's better to get maybe that one loss. You don't have the pressure of an undefeated season. So, But still, 6-1, and one, and now we have to bounce back against a team that hasn't won the entire season. They are 0-7. This probably is the definition of a trap game. Going on the road after a loss, trying to bounce back against the team that is pretty much god-awful. Worst defense in football. So I'm hoping our offense can get going in this game and we can, you know, really do some damage. But even with an 0-7 teams, going down to New Orleans in that environment on a Monday night, it's not always easy. But hopefully we can get the job done now. What kind of helps us with a little bit of a motivation is the loss last week. I think sometimes when you're rolling, if we came into this game 7-0, and you know, would it be the kind of the same thing? But with a loss, that really kind of puts the motivation back on to bounce right back and not allow this to go any further. We also have an opportunity with Traylon Burks once again. Looks like he has a chance to get an upgrade, get up to a star dev. So hopefully we can get that done. We'll see what we're going to have to get here with him in this game. Another side thing. So Jameson Williams gets the 2,500 XP. That's awesome. So Burke's 105 receiving yards against the Saints. So that's what we got to do. 150, not 105, but 150 receiving yards. Bonus points for touchdowns. So 150 is going to be the goal. We've had that before with Traylon Burks, and we have failed. So hopefully, hopefully, we can get him those receptions because last week that guy right there got superstar X Factor over 200 yards, but it did come up with a loss. So take on this Saints team, Jameis Winston. I mean, they, they have some solid guys. You know, Chris Olave's been fantastic, but their defense is really bad, offensively very inconsistent. We'll see. We'll see if this really is going to be a trap game where we can just take care of business. And actually, we're going to start on the offensive side of the ball first, and I'm glad. I want to get this offense on the field, kind of make a statement, get down the field, score a touchdown, and try to put this you know team out of their misery right away. Second and eight, we're going to hit Traylon Burks, and there's a good start to get him up to 150 yards. He picks up 19 yards up to the 46-yard line. Like I said, we've had this before with him, what I believe earlier in the season we failed. He had a really good start, and we just... Kind of sputtered down late. We couldn't give him the 150. So hopefully we can do it this this week. Hopefully we can. As Lamar is going to take off, he'll get 13 yards. And he has a first down up to the 41-yard line. First and 10. Hand off to DeAndre Swift. And Swift is going nowhere. That has been really the one main inconsistency of our offense this entire season. Has been the run game. I mean, Lamar's had some really good games taken off. You know, he's always fantastic in the run game. But that consistent run game with Swift... Randall, you know, James Cook. You're going to need that down the stretch in some playoff games as Chandler Brooks with the grab. He's down to the 13, and that's going to be a first down. But, yeah, you get in those cold environment games. There's Joe Allen with a high ankle sprain. He's out for the game. you got to have that run game. First and 10. Here's Lamar. He's going to take off himself. Breaks off one tackle and will be finally brought down at the 7. He picks six, up 6 as now George Dixon's a bit shaken up. Not what we want to see there. Second and three from the seven. Lamar looking, going around, and he just can pretty much just walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Lamar Jackson. Exactly what we wanted. A nice drive down the field to start this game. Get the lead. Touchdown, 7 nothing lead. George Dixon should be able to return with the shoulder strain. And here comes Jameis Winston. He hasn't played much. Injured, really, to start the season. You can see he only got his first game last week, 16-32, 216. Touchdown and interception. Trying to turn around this season for this Saints team. Second 11. Winston's going to throw as that one could have been picked off by a Warrior if he would have actually saw the ball. That's going to fall incomplete. Now third and 11. We're going to bring some heat as Winston, nice, got, nice job, you know, with the blitz pickup. Staying strong in the pocket. Has the catch. LaVisca Chenault, first down. Saints moving it here up to the 43-yard line. Now here comes Alvin Kamara with the carry. Always dangerous. Also, you know, just very, very good at breaking tackles. Out in the receiving game, outstanding. So he can definitely do some damage. A second and three, that's going to be a sack. Houston gets around the edge. Brings down Winston, loss of six. And now a third and nine. 
Can we get them off the field? Winston over the middle. That's going to be called. I believe that's LaVisca Chanel again. That's something we struggled, obviously, last week against. Actually, that's uh, easily with the grab. We struggled against the Bills last week with third down conversions. We got to get these teams off the field, especially on third and longs. We just can't allow it. Another first down to Alave there. Second and six as Jameis makes a big mistake going backward. And Hutchinson there for the sack. Same with Houston. Yeah, you can't run backwards against these guys. We'll get you quickly. Third and 18. This is what I was talking about. we got to get a stop. Alave with a grab. And he picks up a decent amount of yards. 14. They could go for it here in a fourth and four. Let's see if they do. No, they're just going to kick the field goal. Get some points. Good drive by New Orleans as... Okay, you know, key third down conversions, getting down the field. Now let's see what this offense can do once again. So that's completion to start and add on 15 for the roughing the passer. We'll absolutely take that, and that's going to instantly put us into New Orleans territory. First and 10, Swift, nothing there, nothing at all. And we're going to spread everybody out here on third and eight. Lamar looking over the middle. That's going to be caught by Burks. Well short of the first, but you know what? Fourth and five from, from the 42. I think this is go-for-it territory, kind of in that no-man's land. So we're going to go for it here near the end of the first quarter. Lamar in the pocket, over the middle, caught. Traylon Burks has it first down. Took a nice hit there, but at least hangs on the ball. So good fourth down conversion. Drive continues, and we're up to the 33. Second and 11, handoff to Swift, breaks off a tackle. Picks up around seven. In a third and four. Over the middle. Got him. Jamison Williams. Oh, watch out with the speed. Cuts it back. And Williams down to the seven-yard line. Gain of 19. His cutting ability, his agility, his speed. Him in the open field, absolutely dangerous. You don't want to allow that if you're a defense. That's for sure. Third and goal now. Lamar looking over the middle. Has Chandler Brooks, who's got it. And he's in for the touchdown. So nice couple drives here. To start this game for this offense, right down the field, two touchdowns. Like I was saying prior, this is one of the worst defenses in football. And right now, we're uh, looking pretty good. 14-3 lead. This is what you got to do in these trap games. You can't let the team linger. You can't let them hang around. They get that confidence rolling. And just like that, you got a tough ball game, especially, especially on the road. And that's a great third down stop. Looked like maybe Camaro was going to have a chance there, but Hutchinson said no. That's a stop. And let's get the ball back to this offense. First and 10, Lamar firing. Traylon Burks has got it. Catch. That's a gain of 16 to the 39. Trying to get up to that 150. Nice grab. First down. We're going to obviously target him a little bit more often than we do. Second and seven. Here we go to Burks again, who comes down with a fantastic grab. That was really good coverage. Guy was there, but Burks just makes a better play catch. He's up to 81 yards right now with four minutes left here in this second quarter as Jackson floats this one up. Jamison Williams with the speed, jokes out the safety, and he's in for the touchdown. His speed, it's tough to leave him one-on-one. -on -one. And obviously when you have those crossing routes happening, you can't really have anybody over the top, and it just he just burns you. And then you can see what he can do in the open field just absolutely makes the safety look bad, really bad with the move here. Just whoop, see ya. And he's in for the touchdown. 21-3 lead. And so far, I would say, playing pretty well. We're not seeing a disappointment. Hopefully this is a good, uh, you know, comeback game after the loss last week. As New Orleans, though, Chris Olave with the grab. He's off to the races. Can Akuda bring him down? He can. Big time play for New Orleans. Down to the 14. Jameis Winston has been near perfect here so far in this game. As the Saints are trying to answer back with a touchdown of their own. But a mistake by Winston. Hutchinson is there, loss of 13, and knocks him back all the way to the 28. As this is going to be another sack. Jermaine Johnson, Hutchinson there again. This is going to be a 51-yard field goal attempt when they were down to the 14. Just lost 20 yards like that in a matter of plays. Kick is up. Does it have enough? And it does. It is good. So New Orleans still gets a field goal, but still 
But that big play to Olave, you were hoping that was going to be more than that. First and ten. Lamar throws it up, looking for Chandler Brooks. Honey Badger there knocks it away. Let's see what this flag is. It's going to be a holding call. So it wouldn't have, you know, even if Brooks came down with it, it's coming back anyway. Frank Ragnow is a bit shaken up on that play, so that's not going to help us out. First and 20 from our own 10. Lamar sees some room up the middle, takes off, slides down, picks up 12 yards. Dislocated hit for Ragnow. Ooh, that does not sound good at all. Third and seven. And we're going to find George Dixon. Great throw in that zone coverage. Got it first down. Gonna try to hurry this up here. Lamar looking over the middle. Has Jamison Williams for the grab. Williams down to the 44-yard line. We'll use our first time out here with 50 seconds left in this first half. Let's see if we can at least get a field goal. Third and seven. Lamar play action. He's looking down the field, and he's going to be brought down. Just couldn't find anybody down there. Didn't want to force anything. Just, you know what, take the punt. It's okay. We'll go into halftime with the 21-6 lead. Saints do get the ball to start the second half, so hopefully defense can step up, get us a quick three and out, get the ball back in the hands of the offense. So, obviously, this is a short week. Vikings going to be uh, hosting the Cardinals. We'll have to wait and see where these teams are going to fall. We'll see uh, what Minnesota does, see if they come up with victory. And you got the Bears and Packers as well. On Monday night, we'll see what happens in those division games. Those ones uh, definitely we'll look, look, look forward to as the Vikings have played really well this season. So uh, we'll have to see that. Bears, obviously, have been struggling as of late. So they're trying to get back. But, you know, when you take it on a division opponent on the road, always, always tough. Let's, let's start this second half. Here we go on defense, second and seven. Winston looking over the middle. That's going to be caught. And that is a first down to the 46-yard line. Jameis Winston, 14-16, looking really good, making some nice throws. So their offense is performing you may know, better than I thought. I thought our defense would dominate him as Kamara's got some room to run. McDougal, nice job making that one-on-one -on -one tackle in space. Or that could have been a touchdown as Hufunga's a bit shaken up as well. Yeah, I mean, we, I know we've only allowed six points, but we've allowed some big plays here early on. If it wasn't for those big-time sacks here down in the red zone, it could be a 21-14 game. Third and eight. Winston looking. Can't find anybody. Floats it. Kamara's got a catch. Big third down conversion. Gets him down to the 10. Thought oh, we had the stop there. Man. Second and 10 now. Winston looking. Can't find anybody, and he's going to be brought down by Jermaine Johnson. These sacks down in the red zone have been huge. Knocks them back, and now a third and 20. Winston looking. He forces this one up, and it's going to be picked off by Akuda in the end zone. He's going to take this one out, and he'll get up to around the 23-yard line. They'll give him the 22, but Jameis Winston, what are you doing? You've been playing so well this entire game. And he just forces one. Almost triple coverage. Akuda is there. Picks it off from the end zone. And we'll take advantage of that. As here comes Alex Randall with the carry. He has a first down. As Olsen. Man, a lot of guys being shaken up in this game. Maybe that's the, the short and weak. That is what's happening there. Second and six. We'll find Traylon Burks for the grab. Still trying to get him up to 150. But he is close to 100. First and ten. Back to Randall. Nice room, nice open space, nice blocking. Breaks off one tackle just short of the first down. But let's go right back to him. Right up the middle, nice block, first down. You know, he struggled this season, obviously. But a good good start to the second half for this game. Four carries, 31 yards. Trying to split this up. We'll put Swift back in here. As you can see, the running game has opened up. It was a struggle in the first half, but everything seems to be opening up here. Second and one. We'll go back to Swift. Breaks up. He's up to the 18-yard line, gain of eight. But, yeah, the blocking, getting more push. Even with Frank Ragnow not in there, getting better push. Maybe wearing down the Saints defense, second and 13. And the Swift tries to cut it back. As I say that, nothing really there. And a third and 12. Just dropping back in some zone. Mars going to throw it up for Burks. Who, ah, man, he had a little bit of room. Maybe a little bit better throw, a little bit further. Gives him the opportunity. Don't get anything there. We'll get the field goal. Put this back up to a 24-6 lead. 
And that's the Dom Moore sack, as we have been all over it with the sacks in this game. A lot of pressure on Winston. Third and ten, and nothing there. As Alave just couldn't get off the press. Quick three and out for New Orleans. And let's get this back in the hands of Lamar. Fires, Burks, over the middle, breaks off one tackle. He's up to the 37-yard line. Give him 13 yards, getting closer and closer. Second and three. And, man, it's been a the last two drives to start this second half. Randall, five carries, 40 yards. He obviously didn't get any, anything in the first half, but fresh legs, see what he can do. Looking pretty good. And a third and six as we head into this fourth quarter. Lamar looking over the middle and almost picked off, knocked away, incomplete. But you know what? Let's go for it here. So up 24-6. Let's try to get some here. Lamar looking. Can't find anybody, and he's going to be brought down. So we don't convert there, and the coverage was just really good. I mean, guys were just plastered. There was nobody to, nowhere to go at all. So this is still only a 24-6 lead. I know it's up 18. You know, it's a kind of a three-possession game, but still. It's just, uh, you know, not as dominating as you thought. It started off dominating, but it hasn't been here as that's broken tackles. And we're not going to catch him. He's going for the touchdown. Carl Easley. Man, and New Orleans, I'm telling you, it means there's still 10 minutes left in this game. They get the extra point. It's only a two-possession game, 24-13. New Orleans making their way back into this one. We got we to gotta get this first down here. This is huge. Third and three. We just can't give it right back to him. Lamar looking. Look out. He's going to fire down the field, and it's going to be incomplete in the New Orleans defense. Their coverage has been surprisingly very good in this game. But now it's up to our defense to get a stop here. Incomplete pass there, now third and ten. Winston, over the middle, caught. As nice tackle by Devin Bush. And with 8.30 left, I don't know if you go for it there and they're going to punt the ball. So nice job, defense. But now this offense has got to do something. Come on. Over the middle. That's a perfect ball to Traylon Burks. He's up to the 36-yard line. That was a perfect throw right over the linebacker's head. First down, but now another big third down. Lamar looking in the pocket. Down the field, has Isaiah Leonard, who breaks away, and he's in for the touchdown. Can't ask much more than that. We needed a big drive to at least kind of just give us some more room. Get the touchdown. Big play to Burks. Big play to Leonard. That's a perfect throw from Lamar. Just let the receiver to continue to run. And then he does the rest. Gets in for the touchdown. Hutchinson's all happy. 31-13 lead. And with trailing Burks, I believe we're only 13 yards away from getting that 150. So we're close. Now, if we get this ball back here, I don't really want to throw, but we're going to have to try to force one in to try to get it to him. Third and ten. Oh, man, what happened to the coverage there? Stingley was on him. I think he just kind of lost him. But catch, first down. New Orleans not going away yet. Five minutes left. Winston, man, open. That is caught. And a first down, Chennault to the 22. And if Winston doesn't throw that pick in the end zone, I mean, that, that kind of changed things. As Winston looking on first and 10, trying to find somebody, receiver comes back to help him out, is easily gain a 14 down to the 8. I have to say, I'm a little disappointed right now in this defense. We're letting up too many big plays. We really are. First and goal. Winston fires, caught, Alave, touchdown. So New Orleans scores the TD. They don't onside kick it, which is very interesting. I thought they might with about four minutes left. You're down two scores, but they decide to kick off. So it's up their offense really to end this game, and that's a good start. Randall with the carry first down. First and ten. Looking for those yards for Burks. Fired. He's got the grab. First down up to the 38. And that should do it. That should at least give us 150. We don't have any touchdowns with them, but the 150 should give us that upgrade, hopefully. Yes, Randall with the carry. That's up to the 29-yard line. He has had a solid, solid game. With two minutes left on the third down. Just give this to Lamar. Slide down. That should pretty much be the ball game as we're going to win this one 31-20.
So it's a nice bounce back win after the loss last week to Buffalo, but I mean, you're facing off against the team as a one this year at 0-7, even though it's a solid victory. Offense looked you know, pretty good. Lamar looked really good, but the defense, 350 to Winston. I mean, Jameis Winston just kind of went off. Three touchdowns for Lamar, 330 through 334 through the air. When really that first half, we just couldn't run the ball at all. Swift, 58 yards. Uh, but Randall came in in the second half, performed really well. 9 for 65. Pretty much, I would say, his best game about of the season. So he looked really good. That's good to see. But 157 for Traylon Burks. Didn't have a touchdown for the extra. So I'm hoping that's... You know, it's not a full like upgrade thing. But at you know, 150, I'm hoping that's... Sh- that should be it, right? He should have an upgrade to start Dev, so we actually got it. The pressure was good, but they were key sacks down in the red zone. So that was the big thing. And that, yeah, that pick in the end zone, Winston just forced that one up. But really, we just got to continue to work on third down defense because that's been an issue. You can see 6 for 12, 50%. It's not bad. We stopped them a little bit later in the game. But, man, we can't allow those third down conversions because when you get into those Playoff type games, I mean, that's the that's the key down. Those third downs, especially, you know, it's one thing if you keep getting third twos, third and threes, it's going to happen. But, you know, the way our defense plays, we get a lot of teams in third and eights. And we, we can't allow teams to convert those. We just can't. As you can see, Emmanuel Forrest, not yet close to seeing what his dev is. Get the upgrade from Isaiah Leonard, who had the touchdown. That's good to see. So we got a lot of stuff to go over here. Before I, you know, we get to the Traylon Burks. So yeah, we're all good there. Hopefully we should get some in a little bit of XP upgrade. Yeah, 1,000 XP plus five morale for all players and a pass block boost. So that'll help for next week's game against the tough uh, New England defense. They are uh, top, I believe, a top five defense right now in the NFL, especially going on the road. 1,000 XP for more players. Just get through this stuff quickly. Because you guys have seen this. There's, You know, you start to run out of different scenarios. I wish they would always add more. And obviously the franchise problem. I was thought I wasn't going to be able to play this game. I heard the franchise thing was taken away and obviously it was brought back. But luckily I was good to go. I don't play online franchise. So that's the big thing. So trailing Burks, ready to go in. Things didn't go my way. I need to be better than that. Interesting. So he's not going to get an upgrade? We had 150. It asked for 150. Okay, I don't... That's odd. I don't know what you guys are thinking. I'm thinking just give him the star depth. Because we got the, we just didn't get the extras with the touchdown. But that was a kind of a bonus thing. We needed 150. We got 157. Hmm. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I'm thinking about just getting the star dev. We'll see. But we take on New England Nets. This will be a tough game. 5-3 and three going to Foxborough. I think it's a Sunday night game. So this is going to be an interesting one there. Big, big game. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.